Today I'm going to cover my procedure of installing this new Chafin Hydro Feed uh, liquid fertilizer. It manages one ounce per gallon as it flows through. It has an extreme restriction here and it gives you the warning up front. Here's what the Chapin upfront label says. It says model 4700 16 ounce fertilizer injector. Install per local codes and downstream of a backflow preventer. Maximum 60 PSI inlet pressure. So the first thing I'm going to do is check the water pressure. The first thing I'm going to do is to check the water pressure now that I have my new plumbing in for this. And this is just a simple Rainbird water pressure gauge. And it is showing the water pressure is about 72. 72. Let me move my camera up so you can see down on there. So it's about 72. So it's too high. Um, if I just say, well, that's close enough, uh, the, the system will probably leak. It'll put too much stress on it. So I'm going to be adding a water pressure reducer. It's supposed to produce, uh, reduce it to around uh, 45, 50 pounds. So we're going to go ahead and install that next. We're going to see how this reducer works. And we're right at uh, 50 PSI, 60 being the max to run this system. So we're good. We're going to be 10 PSI under. Here's the backflow preventer. It's going to keep water from flowing back into your main line when you're feeding your fertilizer so on and so forth. So this is definitely part of a code to install one of these. So I'm going to put one in. It was about $5.98 and it's for a standard garden hose. You'll see this connect to this. So is that. It's standard. And there we go. The backflow preventer is in. I want the sprayer to come over here. This is a decision I just made. I realized that you know your plumbing's all plumbing's gonna be unique except for you know your connections. So I'm giving it just a slight snug fit, not over tightening it. So the next thing to do will be to install the, the injector module. And this one I'm only going to hand tighten, get it nice and snug. And I'm going to install this injector to my quad port here and the one that can do four at once. I think most people probably just do one. That's good and snug. Okay so I drove this steel stake into the ground. It's about a foot down and there's holes in it and I attached two zip ties to hold this in place because this is plastic. Concerns about it carrying a load so it's not a plumbing issue. So the next thing I guess would be to have a look at it in action and have it working. Here's where you're going to add your liquid fertilizer. Take this out. You, when you screw it on, make sure you put it back in snug or it will leak. But here's the port. You open this and with this aligned with the spout, it means it's open and you cross it just like these. And it's just like these. This means that it's closed and if they're turned open like that, that means it's open all the way. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add some iron and zinc. So this line here is going to feed, it's literally, well, well over 150 feet away. Zinc and iron, it'll be a light feeding, and here we go. Okay, looks like we've pretty much cleared out the uh, plant food there. Once again, it's just zinc and iron. 
So as this is finishing up the feed, here's the two most important things to discuss with this. Is A, backflow preventer, water pressure reducer. I'll put the water pressure reducer in the link. I bought it on Amazon and I bought this on Amazon, so I'll put it in the link for you. Okay, this was bought at a big box store. I was just rummaging around and picked a couple up a while back. So I just retrieved them and put them in.